What's happening, y'all? Um, so this is day whatever of this series, and um, it's been about three weeks since I was let go from my job. Um, I've collected around $11,000 in revenue, and um, I'm very excited about um, the future because um, you know I think that it's possible that getting let go may have been one of the best things that's ever happened to me, um, professionally at least. Personally, it's my kid, easy. Um, but... Um, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the direction I'm going in and, um, I see just infinite scalability and that's because I'm focusing on the right problems. Now, uh, I think that before I wasn't really focusing on the right problems. And I think that was probably my biggest limitation, just not thinking big enough. And now that I'm, I've invested in this software technology called high level for the last five years or so, um, paying for the, the license, month in and month out, um, and just kind of staying current with the capabilities of the system and, um, uh, learning all the things that it can do and how to implement them into, um, into really in, into solving really, really big problems. And then also, you know, so right now, uh, I'm obsessed with, um, the, the, uh, staffing reten- retention recruiting, uh, but I also built back, uh, build a piece for, <clears throat> for secret shoppers. Uh, so you can get, um, so you can get, um, a feedback from people and incentivize people to give you like honest, brutally serious feedback. And then also from getting feedback from your staff and, and helping your managers become the best managers that they can be with learning management systems and with feedback systems and re- reminders and nudges. And so all this stuff is built into a centralized universal system that is going to help people, have a almost paint by numbers approach to <clears throat> building their bars and increasing their presence in their communities, um, being able to engage charities and do, um, do really fun things that can make meaningful impacts in people's lives. And that is why I do it. And, um, and so I'm just excited to implement this for a small group in, in, in Canada and, um, and then after that, um, maybe a couple of other little places, but my focus is building, uh, building the machine that I can duplicate and copy into other client accounts and then really, really scale the ability to do this. But this is the thing that's going to make me a millionaire. This is the thing uh, that's going to, uh, you know, I used to subscribe to this philosophy that, you know, if you saved your money, if you, um, invested your time into the safe thing that, um, eventually it would pay off. But I tried that. Um, I didn't try for very long. So, you know, it's this, uh, get rich, slow mentality. Um, but, um, I was thinking very selfishly. It was about me, me, me. Like I need to make money. I need to do all this stuff when I should be thinking about like, what are the problems that need to be solved? And by shifting my thinking, um, and by really taking my ser- care, taking care of myself physically, um, I, I think I, I'm on this like unstoppable trajectory to, um, to really, really help people and solve very meaningful problems for not an enormous amount of money. Um, but I'll be able to do it so many times that, um, that, uh, that it, it's, um, that I'll enrich myself as well and really take care of myself and have time freedom and money freedom and all that stuff. So it's a very exciting time for me. I'm just trying to like keep my shit together so I don't get, I get too excited, but, um, I cannot stop working on this stuff because I know that the work that I do can be scaled. And that is another mental shift that I hadn't thought about is, um, how do I do work once and then optimize it over time rather than doing work once for one client and then doing it again for another client. And then again for another client, that's three times as much work. Whereas right now I'm building it once and creating the same value that I can duplicate for other clients, um, with a fraction of the amount of work. And so it just becomes about optimization, maintenance, upgrades, rather than doing the same work again and again and again. And, um, and so, uh, this allows me to do the things that I really want to do, which are help people. And so, you know, I'm just trying to like craft the life that I want to live. And that means helping people making money, you know, having financial security, having time, time freedom, and, um, and spending as much time with my kid as possible before he wants to go do something else before he doesn't like me anymore, but he loves me. I'm like a God to this kid now, which is great. I hope that lasts forever, but, but I know it's not. Um, and, uh, 
Um, but yeah, uh, I, a, a big, a couple of the things that I really attribute this to are first of all, taking care of myself. Um, so eating, eating, eating really clean food that's natural, organic, um, that I make myself very little packaged food, no sugar, no starch, no carbs, um, no wheat, no gluten, no alcohol, no cannabis, no psychedelics. Although I may want to try some, some mushrooms down the line, but, um, this has led to a clarity of thinking that that's given me more time to read books that really shape the way I think. And, um, and I'm reading a lot of MJ DeMarco right now, a book called unscripted. And before that it was called the millionaire's fast lane. Um, but while the title may be really clickbaity, it's actually a really interesting book and, um, gives you a really interesting way to per perceive how to proceed. And, um, and it really is, if I were to sum it up in one statement, it's about solving the right problems for people rather than solving the problems that you want to solve. So this thing about like, do what you love. No, thank you. Uh, what you love, first of all, will turn into something that you don't love anymore. Um, and second of all, it's like, it's kind of selfish because you're like solving the problems that you want to solve and you are your own customer. So why would people pay you for that? Um, and so like, I'm kind of doing something where I like, I have this skill set. Um, and I have this experience and understanding of a particular world, which is the bar and restaurant world, also the brand building world, um, like the, the liquor brand building world. Um, but how do I connect all these things together into solving a real problem? And the validation for me comes in people enjoying the product. And so like, it's not about what I like anymore. Um, but what I like is seeing people benefit from the thing that I made. And that's, that's the whole thing for me. So, um, that's all I got for you today. Uh, it's a really, really strange and bizarre and amazing time. And I'm very, very grateful for it. Okay.